okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of paper so the uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of paper so it is given that the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of paper so either it will be out of the plane of the paper or it will be into the plane of the paper out of the board means that the things are coming out out of your screen whichever uh, like the equipment you are using the light that is coming out of your cell phone or out of your laptop is this and uh, if it is going inwards so it is shown like this so now the direction of the current is given and the direction of the force is also given the conductor is rotated 30 degree about the axis of the magnetic field what is the direction of magnetic field first of all and what is the magnitude of force on the conductor after rotation so we have to find two different things now so first of all we should find the direction of the magnetic field and for that you would be using your uh, rules which are utilized to find the direction so there are many such rules and um, what with the rule that i use is um, right hand palm rule is right hand palm rule why i prefer this rule is because this is fairly fairly simple it's very simple comparative to the other rules they are the other rules are quite confusing so in this what we do is we use the right hand and the thumb is pointing towards the current and my fingers point towards the magnetic field so the palm will be pointing towards the force so i write it here thumb in the direction of current and fingers in the direction of magnetic field and so the palm will be in the direction of force and we are using the right hand so if i am using this and i apply this law on the in the first case so it comes out to be like this that uh, the current is in the right direction and so the force has to be downward so it means that my fingers will be pointing towards me it means that the magnetic field is coming out of the board you can use any other method if you want but i personally prefer right hand palm rule that is why i have done it now what about the magnitude of the force so now we know that the magnitude of the force is given by the formula b into i into l and there is a sin theta also so don't get confused and this b and uh, what is this theta now this theta is the angle between uh, the l vector and the b vector so it is generally written as uh, b vector cross dl vector somewhere like this so this theta is the angle between magnetic field and the length of the length of the wire so the length of the wire is this and the magnetic field is still coming out of the board so earlier the angle was 90 degree between the wire and the magnetic field and even now the angle between the wire and the magnetic field is 90 degree so in both of the cases theta doesn't matter so i can say that the first force is coming out to be bil and the second force is also coming out to be equal to bil so the forces will be same but the only thing is that the direction of force will be tame, will will be different here the direction of force is perpendicular to the length and here also the force experienced by the wire will be right angled at the wire so it will be making 90 degree on the wire so the direction of the force has changed but the magnitude of the force does not change so by having this much of the information with us we can move downwards and we can see which will be the correct answer first of all the magnitude is not going to change and the direction of the magnetic field is out of the plane of paper so c is our correct answer so this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye